Hi everybody and welcome to this daily devotional. This meditation today is for Monday, the 2nd of November, the day before Election Day in our country. And I certainly hope that all of you who are viewing this have already cast your vote or have a plan to do so before the polls close wherever you are tomorrow. Today our reading is from the fifth Psalm, Psalm 5. It's kind of a long poem, but I'm going to read it in its entirety because I believe that there's a powerful message here for all of us in these days. Listen to Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you. And watch. You are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are destruction. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out. For they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, so that those who love your name may exalt in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favor as with a shield. Words like these apply to all of us, not all the time, but sometimes. No one, according to the poet, is exempt from the judgment of God. That is to say, God's favor is on those who do right, who speak truth, who love justice and righteousness, and God's displeasure is towards those who are lying and deceiving and speaking boastful things against God on their own behalf. Do you think that somehow politicians are exempt from this message? Do you think whether they're in one political party or another, the mere fact that they are standing for election allows politicians to bend and twist and spin, to exaggerate and flat out lie in order to gain votes. After all, it's just politics and everybody does it. But it's not. It's not just politics and everybody does not do it. And it is not okay. So today, if you haven't voted, go out and vote. See if you can find a politician who is more honest, more trustworthy, 
more faithful to God and candid with you. And if you can, vote for that one. But in our own lives, aside from the political arena, may God help us to be the kind of people who reliably speak what is true, proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, the mercy, the love, the compassion of God that extends to all people, not just people like us with our same skin color or our same social standing, but to all people in every place. That's the truth. And let us be ambassadors, agents for that truth. Politics aside, we still will live like the children of God. By God's grace, we cry out in the morning and God hears us. And then we watch as God makes the way straight before us, the way that we should live, the way that we should speak, the way that we should act each day. Our God, Today, as we are on the eve of a momentous election in our country, there are many, many of us who are divided and many who are confused. We do not trust our leaders to tell us the truth. We pray that you will, in the weeks and years ahead, help us as people of faith, to always speak the truth, to always walk in the way that is straight, to always be honest and loving with one another. We ask it in the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this pre-election day devotion. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow with another daily devotion, and I pray that God will bless you until then.